Hey everyone, I've been on a kick with my watercolor pencils, so I thought I would make a tutorial for beginners just to get the hang of using them. So we're going to use a Santorini stone, a regular pencil, the watercolor pencils, a water brush, and the Sakura Pigma pen for fine line detail. And our first step will be to line out a heart on the Santorini stone. It doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of a general outline. So pick an assortment of colors out of the watercolor pencils, and then we're going to take the first color and you're going to start coloring on the Santorini stone the same way you would color um, using colored pencils on paper. And the way we're coloring this stone is just kind of messy and broad strokes, so take yourself back to your younger years. We're not coloring inside the lines, it's just going to be broad, wide strokes, a little bit of overlap between the colors. You can use a regular brush and water to do this, but my favorite tool are these water brushes. It's filled with water and you just squeeze a little bit to the tip and it, it drips out of the bristles. My bristles are a little stained here, but um, it's a very handy little tool. So I'm going to start by squeezing out a little bit of water and dabbing it on the paper towel so it's not super wet when I go to the rock. And then when you take it to the rock, you're just going to start making brush strokes on that watercolor pencil and it loosens the color up and gives it that nice watercolor look. You can also go heavier on the water like I am doing here and you just want to be careful that you kind of leave it alone and let it dry because the, the one thing you can risk is if you push it around too much, it kind of dissipates the color and you lose that vibrant color. Sometimes that might be the look you want. So now we're going to take that Sakura paint pen that's good for the fine line detail work and outline where you had the pencil marks for the heart. And again, this wasn't supposed to be a perfectly symmetrical heart. We want it to be kind of imperfect. And we're going to add more lines going around the heart to make it look sort of like a sketched scribble heart. We're also going to add some little splotches around the heart that look kind of like ink splatters. And we're all done. You can leave it just like this plain, or you could also write a quote or a word in the middle of the heart. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and my best advice for the watercolor pencils is just to experiment. See you next time!